Welcome to Logo, a show where we talk not only about brands but also what goes into making one. Let's start with a sneak peek of what's lined up this week. We've got a brand new segment on the rising stars in the advertising industry. We've also got a special branding story on landline maker Beetle. But first up, our cover story. Auto major Mahindra and Mahindra has come out with a new slogan for Logan. Scratch that, it's actually rechristened the brand Verito. And the interesting trivia is that almost all the car brands from the stable of Mahindra now end with the alphabet O. So whether it's Scorpio, Bolero, Zylo and now Verito. But behind this radical change is a very strong business rationale. We find out in our cover story. It started as a venture between Mahindra and Mahindra and Renault. But the Logan, which was launched four years ago, had managed to sell just over 44,000. This came as a root shock for Mahindra and here's why. Take for instance a car like Maruti Suzuki's Desire, which managed to sell over 1,50,000 cars in its first two years. In the meanwhile, the Renault-Nissan alliance began talking to others. Bajaj Auto for an ultra-low-cost car and Ashok Leyland for trucks. And soon enough, buyers weren't sure about the product. Car makers have learned that Indians do not buy cars unless they are convinced the company is going to be around for a long haul. Otherwise, there is a question mark over service, spares, resale and so on. Also, taxi companies began to buy the Logan in large numbers. This brought the image of the car down in the eye of the consumer. So Mahindra and Mahindra went back to the boardroom and decided to take over Renault's 49% stake in the joint venture in Mahindra Renault Private Limited. Now, a year after it took complete control from its French partner Renault, Mahindra and Mahindra has renamed Logan as Verito, which means truth in Latin. The Mahindra Verito will go on sale later this month without any Renault branding. Well, I think, uh, you know, in this current form, it, it might uh, get a boost with a new name, new branding, completely in the Mahindra fold, that sort of thing, because Renault, I think, uh, really as a brand uh, doesn't really fly in India so I think uh, uh, clearly there will be maybe uh, you know initial initial jump in sales to be sure Mahindra had tried every trick in the book before resorting to changing the brand name for one it cut prices by rupees 24,000 to as much as rupees 80,000 these cuts made Logan the cheapest car in its segment even ahead of Maruti Suzuki's diesel sedan Swift Desire then it quickly followed that up with a fresh positioning, Logan Loves India, in an attempt to make the car more endearing to the audience. And now the saloon in its all-Indian avatar gets a name that is in line with Mahindra and Mahindra's policy of giving all its vehicles a name that ends with an O. That apart, the man at the centre of Mahindra's automotive strategy, Rajesh Jejurikar, chief executive of the company's automotive division, has decided to give the car a fresh look and feel as well. Uh, we have uh, strengthened uh, some of the styling elements. Uh, so it now carries the Mahindra badge. The new brand name is Verito. But it has, for example, it has key racks. Uh, it has uh, molded side cladding. So some styling elements uh, which have strengthened the uh, looks, particularly keeping in mind uh, what Mahindra vehicles and Mahindra styling is uh, known for. And it's not just the look and feel that Mahindra is altering, the new Verito will see a significant price rise, while the variant strategy will remain the same. In its earlier Logan version, the car was priced between 4.67 lakh and 6.47 lakh rupees. We've announced the new prices, so we have taken a price increase, but that price increase basically is in line with raw material price increases uh, that everybody has taken. So the price difference that was there uh, remains. Uh, and we continue to be very competitively priced. Needless to say, the Verito will continue to compete with Maruti's Swift Desire, which is priced between 4.88 lakh and 7.07 lakh rupees. Will the all-new Verito trump India's best-selling sedan? 
perhaps if there is such a thing as the O factor. So Mahindra and Mahindra really playing up the O factor. Moving on, the media and entertainment sector has seen some major churn over the last few months, with companies across the board tweaking their ad rates to rake in revenues. First was Sun TV, then Colors, and now latest to join the bad wagon is Star Plus, which has increased its ad rates as high as 20%. But in a calendar year where we are actually breathing, walking and talking cricket, will this move pay off? We get you the answers. Advertisers looking to promote their wares on the Star Network might have to think again. The company, which only last week moved to high definition, has now increased ad rates for its bouquet of channels by 20%. And here's why. We have grown our share over the last two years from 12% to close to 16%, a 30-35% growth. And the television reach has grown quite dramatically, from 90 million households to 116 million households. So given the significant increase in the reach that Star Network is providing, I think we said we must take a nominal price increase. And we do think 20% is a very nominal increase compared to the value that we are delivering, increased value that we are delivering over the last two years. But there's another pertinent reason for this significant increase, and that's the growing cost of talent, technology and production costs. And Star India's ad sales president Kevin Vaz feels that with the cable and satellite homes in India increasing from 90 million in 2009 to 116 million in 2011, the move is more than justified. The value we provide okay, is much higher than what we are asking for. So we just looked at a normal increase at this point of time and this will be first in lieu of the total value which we have given up till now. So as we shared with you over the last two years, okay, CNS has grown by 30% and even if you look at Star Network, Star Network has also grown by 30% for this. So it's a cumulative of 65 to 70%. So this is one of the first of the increases that you're looking at and that's how 20%. So now where advertisers would typically spend about Rs 1.3 to Rs 1.5 lakh on a top rated show on the network, they will now have to cough up Rs 1.8 lakh. And Star isn't the only one. Earlier this year, the Sun TV network increased ad rates on its Telugu channel Gemini TV by 6 to 13 percent for different shows. Colors 2 recently announced a 15 percent hike on the ad rates of its popular show Khatron Ke Khiladi. But the mood question is, with so much money spent on advertising on cricket, will advertisers want to shell out a premium on other properties? For his part, star Sanjay Gupta isn't so perturbed. I think first thing is, the consumers who are watching content, there are certain people who are loyal to cricket and there are a large number of people who are loyal to the entertainment content. So we have seen the viewership continues to be strong even during the time of cricket. Our shows continue to do well. And advertisers choose to either be on cricket as a, as a strategy or they may not be on cricket also. And we have not seen any softening on our channels even during the heavy hectic period of cricket. So I don't think that really determines the amount of money that gets spent on the advertising industry. But ultimately, whether advertisers pay money will depend on what the TVRs say. And rest assured, they're going to have their hands in their wallet and eyeballs on the viewership data. Speaking about advertisements, it's time now for us to take a short break, but stay tuned. On the other side, we get you handset maker Beatles branding story. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> 